All right. Um, so what are you hearing there, Michael, as we get ready for the closings? I think that's a person who has buyer's remorse. I'm, I'm, I'm furrowing my brow. I, I can't understand. I mean, maybe, I mean, I have to be in his head, but I, I have to assume that this is a person who has buyer's remorse. He, he put a wedge between him and his client before his case began, and he, he knew that Matt Johnson was going to ask him the question. He knew, everybody's asking the same question. How much of the drivel from the narrative are you going to use? you got to deal with it, right? You're the attorney. You, the, you allowed, you took on the case knowing, we now know that you knew that he was going to testify with a narrative. You knew that that was his condition. Your client's condition was they have to do that. You knew that. And so you knew that Matt Johnson was going to ask you the question. When he asked you the question, you winced. You, it's like, it's almost like uh, asking a kid, you know, hey, did you, uh, you know, steal the cookie? And the kid has chocolate chips on their lips and they're eating and they said, no, I didn't steal a cookie. It's like, you, you knew that you were going to be asked that question. Why did you grimace? Why did you wince? I'm so puzzled by, by Draskovich and especially the, the breadth of experience and, and, uh, uh, you know, vigor that he has. I don't know. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, I'm not shocked with what Telus did because I've already given you my analogy of this. It's a Greek tragedy and unfolding in front of us, the man who had it all and was determined to destroy it. But I'm, so I'm not puzzled by Telus, but I'm puzzled by Draskovich. Um, and also he mentioned he wants to bring in a couple of exhibits that, that I mean, he can't bring in new evidence at in the closing arguments. Maybe he's gonna reference other exhibits that were admitted, but that the prosecution did not have an answer for. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm really, really interested to see this closing argument. I really wanna see this closing argument because you know what, you made your bed, you gotta sleep in it, Draskovich. The, you took on this representation, dude, go ahead, see it through. You've got a job, you've got a duty to not only your client, but to the rest of us. You've got a duty to the rest of us. Every single person de de uh, you know, deserves a vigorous defense. You've done a good job for your client. You allowed him to testify. I know you had no choice but to do it. He was going to do it anyways. Better than him just representing himself pro se. But I really got to see this closing arguments. But man, you knew Matt Johnson mm -hmm. was going to ask you that question. So I was just puzzled, Ted. All right. Well, there's a, that was a live look inside the courtroom as the judge continues to read those instructions. We'll get a break when we come.